All right, hey guys. Um, I just got done fixing my A pillars. Um, if you've ever had a Chevy Silverado or a Tahoe or a Suburban, this has probably happened to you. <laughs> Mine's been like this for like two years. I've just been lazy about it, and you know I've tried to I try to glue it up here, and you know once I had to take this down again, which was about two months ago, to install my new head unit. It ripped my headliner off to about here. So yesterday I fixed the headliner and the other day I came up with a way to fix this that's really cheap, probably about $5. Um, let's see. So what happens is <clears throat> there are little barbs right here. It's supposed to stick out about an inch right about there and then it's supposed to go into this little you know metal thing right here so basically what i did was i went to home depot i bought these knotting anchors it's basically what you anchor screws into drywall um, but they have barbs on it so what i did was basically cut it down a little bit um i couldn't get it through a it, anyways so you have to cut it down a little bit. It wouldn't get through that little hole right there. If it would focus. Fucker. Anyways, you have to cut down a little bit so it could squeeze through that hole or possibly buy smaller ones. But that's what I had to do. Um, also, I just trimmed down the sides right there so it's not a complete circle. I made them thinner so anyways what you do is right here you just slice them down on both sides and then you would take this where you made a little slice and fit it over that just shove it down on there uh, you have to put the little naughty anchor inside this metal thing first um, or else it will not shove in there. It'll just crush. Um, I found it easier to grab a Phillips head screwdriver and stick it in the middle of that. And then shove it down into there. Um, so what I did was. I'll take you around this side. <clears throat> so after I did that. I glued it, I glued it on there uh, using this glue, um, it's kind of glue that you find at like a uh, arts and crafts store, um, I was looking up maybe to use PVC glue or ABS, um, but uh, apparently it doesn't weld well to plastic, which is what that's made out of, the little knotty anchor. So, I got this, um, this is good shit right here. It'll, it'll glue anything. It's used for like glass and uh, porcelain, stuff like that. Um, basically for anything. <clears throat> so anyways, I glued that bitch in there and I uh, came in today to make sure it, it would stay on there. I left it overnight and this fucker ain't coming out. <laughs> so basically what you do, is just the line you line the hole and let's see here you line the hole and it should just snap in and then it has been fixed so hopefully you can see that I can't see if it's focused or not but there we go Anyways, so it's up there. It ain't coming down. Um, and the biggest problem I had is I have uh, a solo barrack L7 in here and got it in a ported box. And every time it hits, it'll make them come down. I tried to uh, use these little Velcro strips too. You can see that up in the. Here, I'll come over here. <clears throat> <clears throat> you 
Anyways, I try to Velcro these little fuckers on there. These are already a part of the A-pillar. I don't know what it is for. It's just a little foam piece, but I just uh, tried to hot glue this on the inside of this and then Velcro it onto here. But that did not work, so it only took a day for that to come apart. So this is the best method I found. Just, like I said, shove this onto there, glue it on, and then once this little metal prong goes into that hole, it ain't coming back out. So there you go.